BrainWise presents Grade 4, Math, Quizby, Part 1 Hey there! Are you ready to put your math skills to the test? Get your pencils, your thinking caps, and your best brain power ready because we're about to dive into our math quiz challenge! This quiz has three rounds. The questions get harder as we go, so stay sharp! And share your answers in the comments. Easy round. Number one. What is the difference between the largest and smallest numbers that can be formed using the digits 3, 5, 8, and 0? Again. What is the difference between the largest and smallest numbers that can be formed using the digits 3, 5, 8, and 0? The choices are A. 8530. B. 5,472 C. 8,172 D. 8,503 The correct answer is B. 5,472 Number 2 which of the following numbers is a prime number? Again, which of the following numbers is a prime number? The choices are A. 21 B. 33 C. 49 D. 53 The correct answer is D. 53. Number 3. A baker has 3.5 kilograms of flour. He uses 1.5 kilograms to bake a cake. How much flour does he have left? Again, a baker has 3.5 kilograms of flour. He uses 1.5 kilograms to bake a cake. How much flour does he have left? The choices are A. 2.5 kilograms. B. 2.50 kilograms. C. 3 kilograms. D. 4.75 kilograms. The correct answer is A. 2.5 kilograms. Number 4. Which number is the largest? Again. Which number is the largest? The choices are A. 0 0.8 B. 3 fourths C. 3 fifths D. 7 tenths The correct answer is A. 0 0.8 Number 5 a farmer has 120 chickens. He sells one third of them and then buys 20 more. How many chickens does he have now? Again, a farmer has 120 chickens. He sells one third of them and then buys 20 more. How many chickens does he have now? The choices are A. 60 B. 80 C. 100 D. 120 The correct answer is C. 100. How's it going so far? Ready for more? Great work making it through the first round. The next questions are a bit tougher, so stay sharp. Let's dive in. Average round. Number one. A rope 15.6 meters long is cut into four equal pieces. How long is each piece? Again. A rope 15.6 meters long is cut into four equal pieces. How long is each piece? The choices are A. 3.9 meters B. 3.7 meters C. 3.6 meters D. 3.5 meters
The correct answer is A. 3.9 meters. Number 2. A recipe calls for 2 and 1 third cups of flour. If you want to make half the recipe, how much flour do you need? Again, a recipe calls for 2 and 1 third cups of flour. If you want to make half the recipe, how much flour do you need? The choices are A. 1 and 1 sixth cups B. 1 and 1 third cups C. 1 and 2 thirds cups D. 1 and 1 half cups The correct answer is A. 1 and 1 sixth cups. Number 3. What is the result of DCCLXVIII minus CCCXLIV in Roman numerals? Again, what is the result of DCCLXVIII minus CCCXLIV in Roman numerals? The choices are A. CDXXIV, B. CDXXVI, C. DXXIV, D. DXXVI. The correct answer is A. CDXXIV Number 4 A snail crawls 0.75 meters in the morning and 3 fifths of a meter in the afternoon. How much farther does the snail crawl in the morning than in the afternoon in meters? Again, a snail crawls 0.75 meters in the morning and 3 fifths of a meter in the afternoon. How much farther does the snail crawl in the morning than in the afternoon in meters? The choices are A. 0.15 meters B. 0.25 meters C. 0.35 meters D. 0.45 meters The correct answer is A. 0.15 meters. Number 5. Sarah had a pizza with 12 slices. She ate one quarter of the pizza and her brother ate one third of the remaining pizza. How many slices were left? Again, Sarah had a pizza with 12 slices. She ate one quarter of the pizza and her brother ate one third of the remaining pizza. How many slices were left? The choices are A. 2 slices B. 4 slices C. 6 slices D. 8 slices The correct answer is C. Six slices. You've reached the toughest challenge yet. These questions will test your limits. But I know you're ready. Let's dive in. Difficult round. Number one. Write the prime factorization of 108 using exponents. Again. Write the prime factorization of 108 using exponents. The choices are A. 2 squared times 3 cubed B. 2 cubed times 3 squared C. 2 raised to the 4th power times 3 D. 2 times 3 cubed
The correct answer is A. To squared times 3 cubed. Number 2. A number is divisible by 2, 3, and 5. Which of the following could be the number? Again, a number is divisible by 2, 3, and 5. Which of the following could be the number? The choices are A. 135 B. 250 C. 312 D. 330 The correct answer is D. 330. Number 3. A number has exactly three different prime factors. The sum of these prime factors is 12, and the product of these prime factors is 30. What is the number? Again, a number has exactly three different prime factors. The sum of these prime factors is 12, and the product of these prime factors is 30. What is the number? The choices are A. 15 B 30 C 45 D 60 The correct answer is B, 30. Number 4. A rectangular floor is 12 meters long and 8 meters wide. Square tiles of the same size are used to cover the entire floor without any gaps or overlaps. What is the largest possible side length of the tiles in meters? Again, a rectangular floor is 12 meters long and 8 meters wide. Square tiles of the same size are used to cover the entire floor without any gaps or overlaps. What is the largest possible side length of the tiles in meters? The choices are A. 2 meters B. For meters C. 6 meters D. 8 meters The correct answer is B, 4 meters. Number 5. A book has 120 pages. On Monday, John reads one-third of the book. On Tuesday, he reads one-fourth of the remaining pages. How many pages does John have left to read? Again, a book has 120 pages. On Monday, John reads one-third of the book. On Tuesday, he reads one-fourth of the remaining pages. How many pages does John have left to read? The choices are A. 40 B. 50 C. 60 D. 70 The correct answer is C, 60. Wow! You did an amazing job with our math quiz today! Give yourselves a big pat on the back! You're all super smart! Keep those math brains buzzing! And remember, math is everywhere! It's fun! It's exciting! And it helps us learn about the world around us! Don't forget to like, 
share, and subscribe. See you next time for more math adventures. Bye! How did you go? What was your score? Let us know in the comments below. Check out other videos from BrainWise.